According to the American Society of Retina Specialists, macular degeneration affects millions of Americans and is the leading cause of blindness in people 60 and older. With early detection and treatment, however, vision loss can be prevented. We spoke with Dr. Camille Harrison at Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs to learn about symptoms and when to seek medical attention. Age-related macular degeneration is a condition that typically will affect people after the age of 60. It's the leading cause of blindness in the United States over the age of 65. And it's estimated that almost 3 million people will have this disease by the year 2020. It is a condition where not the nerve tissue, which is the, specifically the retina, but the support layer beneath the nerve tissue, which is called the pigment epithelium, where it degenerates at a, ra at a more rapid rate than the rest of the tissue in the eye, and it stops supporting the retina. This leads to blurriness in vision, distortion in vision, and can ultimately take away all of somebody's central vision. What age group or segment of the population should be most concerned about macular degeneration? Everybody should be getting a dilated eye exam by their eye care professional after the age of 50. If you've begun to have signs for it, the signs could be that the vision seems a bit blurred, it's a little more difficult to read, things seem a bit distorted, but it's hard to decipher those from other things that come along at that age in life, like cataracts. The early signs when somebody looks into the eye of somebody who has age-related macular degeneration are these little deposits called drusen. What that tells us is that the cells underneath are dying or they're becoming dysfunctional. And the, the type of macular degeneration that can cause devastating vision loss happens when those cells actually separate, almost like a little crack forming in a sidewalk. That allows blood vessels to grow up between those spaces, and those can cause a bleed under the retina and take away the vision in, in a matter of minutes. Dr. Harrison told us about the treatment for macular degeneration. If you do find out that you have the early stages of macular degeneration, we can get you on a regimen of lifestyle modification, which means if you're a cigarette smoker, you got to stop smoking. We know cigarette smoke contributes to the advanced progression of this. Getting you an ultraviolet protection when you're out in the sunlight, ultraviolet sunglasses specifically. And probably the biggest is nutritional supplements and changing your diet. We know that antioxidants, vitamin A, um, xenoxanthine, lutein, a combination of vitamins, as has been highlighted by the National Eye Institute studies, can really slow the progression and decrease the likelihood that people will really suffer significant vision loss, meaning losing the ability to read or drive or live independently. So that supplementation, when it start, started at those early phases, we know that that can decrease the likelihood that someone's going to go on to significant vision loss by 25%. That's what can be done about it in the early stages. For those patients who progress on to the wet form of macular degeneration, and that's estimated to be about 10 to 20 percent of people who have macular degeneration overall, the mainstay of treatment is a type of medication called an anti-VEGF medication, which stands for anti-vascular endothelial growth factor. This is an antibody that we inject into the eye that binds up the element that allows these abnormal blood vessels to form. So if we send in these antibodies that lock up that growth factor, it's not available to blood vessels and they shrink away and the vision can be oftentimes restored significantly, sometimes back to the level that it was before those abnormal blood vessels showed up. There's a tremendous amount of research being done in the field of macular degeneration. With stem cells, we may be able to regenerate that cell layer that we know is dying off and becoming dysfunctional, and that may be the way we're treating this in 15 years.